Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this, the eight in the series of a quickie with Dave, I'm going to be comparing the field of view between the 9mm body cap lens by Olympus to its sibling, the 15mm body cap lens by Olympus. Okay, so dead quick, I'm gonna get into this test. What it is, I've got a nine millimeter and a 15 millimeter body cap lens by Olympus. And what I'm gonna be doing is testing them for their fields of view, or more precisely to see what the differences are between one and the other. So what I've done, I did some preliminary testing a few weeks ago. So I thought I would share these tests because they will be probably quite interesting to anybody who's either got both of these, got one or the other, or is interested in getting any of them. Okay, so without further ado, I'll crack on with my preliminary testings that I did a few weeks ago. Okay, so what this test is, it's just a prelim test, uh, just to give me a very quick idea of the field of view difference between the Olympus body cap 9mm and the 15mm. So right now, I'm on the 9mm. Now, I've got it positioned on a tripod. It's just going to be easier on the tripod to do this test because I need to flip things off and on quick. But the distance that I've got it at here is my handheld vlogging distance. So this is exactly the distance I would hold at full arm's length away. Now the, the thing is with the 9mm, it's highly likely I can probably pull it closer. But just to compare for field of view, I'm setting it at the distance that I would set it at for the 15mm. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is flip over onto the 15mm. Okay, so I've flipped over now onto the 15mm, and for all intents and purpose, I should be fairly much in the exact same position. I'm gauging this mark by just holding it, you know, or, or grabbing hold of the pistol grip at the exact length where I would be on full arm's length. Now, just quickly, there's the body cap lens. I can't go too close because it, it won't focus, but that's the 15, so that's the 9mm body cap lens. It's actually a little bit thicker than the 15mm as well, but it's the exact, it's exact same style, exact same kind of construction. It's all plastic and whatnot, and it has this little lever here, and it has an infinity mark there, and then also another indent there. Now that secondary indent seems to be really well suited for this distance and that was where I had it on as well when I was doing the first test with that on. Okay, so this should give me a really good idea as to what the field of view is like between the pair of them. So what I'm gonna do now is just do a count test to 20 and alternate between them every two counts just to see exactly where I'm up to. And I'm gonna have to be a bit sharpish as well because it looks like the groundsmen are out in the park cutting the grass with a huge tractor at the moment. So I need to hurry up and get out the way of that. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll do this count test and then it will end after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that seems to have sorted that one out, and there are the differences between them two lenses. I was also using my Zcam E1 to do that test, and I'm also gonna be doing some full reviews of both the 9mm and the 15mm in the near future as well with the Zcam E1. And if anybody is interested in any of the videos that I do with the Zcam E1, you can catch them all by going to www.zcame1.com. So that's probably me all done now, so I'm gonna shoot off, but the last thing that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now oh blah, 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 blah. two mechanical arms two mechanical legs i'm a two plus two equals four men i'm a mechanical man.